Okay, I'm scaring myself. Welcome to Friday the 13th Creature Feature Double Feature at Popcorn in Dread. We're gonna have not Friday the 13th, maybe next year, guys, but some very fun creature features. We've got arachnophobia and the thing. It should be fun. Stick around. Let's get it spooky. <laughs> Thank you for joining me on our double feature creature feature at Popcorn in Bed. Oh, do I love October? I don't know. Guys, it's so fun. It's so fun to get in the mood and get spooky, but then I'm having nightmares. So there's that. <laughs> I feel like I'm too old to have nightmares, but they'll get you anytime. This was the winner of our creature feature poll by one vote. It beat the fly by only one vote. So arachnophobia it is. With a name like arachnophobia, <laughs> you know it's about spiders. Do I hate spiders? Beyond. I can remember many times screaming my brains out, having my dad run downstairs and being near tears asking him to kill a spider that was in my shower or something. And as I've gotten older, I've gotten a little braver. I feel like when I had kids, I had to like become the thing. But if, I mean, my girl power goes out the window when there's a spider and I will call my husband every single time. On a scale of creepy crawlers, mice, moths, spiders for me. And then snakes. I think I would rather well, yep, I would rather be in a box full of snakes than spiders, and especially than mice, slash rats, and moths. Oh, okay, I know that the guy from Dumb and Dumber is in this. I still don't know if this is the same guy who plays um, Uncle Danny, Uncle Danny in Full House. Is that the same guy that's in Dumb and Dumber? He's been in a, other things I've watched too. Jury's still out, but he's in this and he's great. And that's all I know. I'm assuming it's about a spider epidemic or giant spiders. Okay, buckle in, double feature, creature, creature feature, double feature, feature or double feature, creature feature. No, creature feature, double feature, let's go. Don't forget, Patreon, like, subscribe. Something very scary. Jeff Daniels. Was it Uncle Danny? I know there was Uncle Jesse, but I can't remember his name. John Goodman. Big Lebowski. Forever in my heart. We're in a hurry, Mr. Manley. Leave your personal things, just bring your equipment. I want close-ups of every specimen and coverage of the surrounding rainforest and tapuies. 24 hour and they bite, they kill, Mr. Manley. So do some of the frog, don't touch any. 24 hour ant. This is a sinkhole, a place where thousands of years of streaming water have torn away the rock. Wow, it's gorgeous. Steven Spielberg, executive producer. He loves Halloween too, doesn't he? So this guy is just the photographer? Plant your specialty? Insects and spiders and identifying new ones. Just what the world needs, more bugs. What's your speciality, Manly? Football. Oh gosh. Que pasa? No, no voy, no voy. It's as far as he'll go. What? Uh, I don't really know what this guy is even uh, looking for. Not far. Down there. Thank you. Ah, ah, ah! demasiado grande para cargarlo. What did he say? He says you should be careful. That you're too big for us to carry out. Oh, it's oh, oh, you burn that hat. Nope, okay. Woof. Hello. Okay, so we're, we're catching bugs then. He said he's a bug expert. Everybody ready? <laughs> Oh, I think this is a bad idea. Your camera, Mr. Manley. Prepare yourselves, gentlemen. 
Pictures, Manly, pictures. Are they dead? Heavy thud there. Oh, that's big. <gasps> oh, it's just a spider. What's a big deal? It was potentially a new species of spider, isolated and unchanged for millions of years. All you could do is squash it. Vives de donde vienes. No está muerto. It's impossible. They should be dead. We'll take two back alive and preserve two. Are you sure that'll do it? The stuff will kill an elephant. It's millions of years, then we come along. How long is it going to take us to get back to camp? What's the matter? You're so worried about dinosaurs. <gasps> okay. Excuse me, the creeps. These spiders have no reproductive organs. Almost like worker bees or soldier ants. How are you feeling? Oh, like hell. You don't look so good. Take a rest. Oh, boy. Why does the backpack spider seem very smart? Please see it. Please see it. Mr. Manly. Oh. Oh. <gasps> that was very instant. Señor. Professor! 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 The fever. No. Make sure we've got all his film again. Okay, seal him up. That was so fast, it killed him. There's gonna be something about the reproductive organs. Like they're just like gonna spawn. What a cute little town. Oh boy, oh boy. What are we gonna find? I'm sorry to pest you in this already difficult time. I, I know that we already decided on an open casket. We should uh, maybe uh, reconsider. I'm not sure how they work down in South America, Dick. Let me say that their preservation methods differ from ours. Uh, oh, frick, 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 frick. But, uh, this no, I don't want to see. I'm sure I could do that. I'm happy the casket. So Oh, I hate it. I hate it very much. <laughs> no. Okay, kids, go stick out your rooms. Kids! Hey, let's just, before we discover what valuables broke in the movie, let's just huh? chant twice. We did the right thing. The did right the right thing. thing. Yeah, for the kids. For us, for all of us. Oh, buddy boy. Ross, the entire town is yours. Be doctor. I mean, can there be a more respected figure? Doctor. I'm with the box, this spider. You're in the country now. Come on, let's go find that spider. We're not talking about the spider. Over there in the box. Can I spider? Cool. Please don't be the spider. Oh, it's just a... That's freaking huge still. Let's give it a home in the barn. Yeah, good idea, Shell. Okay, so she's nice to spiders, so maybe the spider will see that. I'm not afraid of all bugs, just be careful of rusty nails. <laughs> we can burn the barn too. Between my severance and all your potential patients, we'll be fine. Hmm. When are you meeting with Dr. Metcalf? Thursday morning. They're very cute. We can unpack in the morning. I have some Napoleon brandy in the basement. Sorry, Summer. I'm exhausted. It's bad luck not to make love the first night in a new house. <laughs> You just made that up, didn't you? You rascal. <laughs> oh, this cute, nice family. Why? I'll just watch a movie about them, you know, learning to navigate the small town politics and no one trusting the new doctor and how, how he wins them over. What's... What's what's that about? I've decided to postpone retirement. I don't know for how long, but uh, but when I thought really hard about it, I realized there's only one thing left to do when you retire. And I've seen too many friends do that very thing. When we spoke just four months ago, you assured me. That I'm not ready to retire, doctor. And if my wife can't rush me into it, you sure as hell can't either. So he doesn't have a job or they have to work together? You gotta feed the meter, partner. I do have medical plates. 
Oh, right. You're that new doctor. You're a Yale grad, I heard. Well, it's just a school. A young doctor comes to Kanaima, and you write him a parking ticket? Lloyd's been a bully since the fifth grade. I ought to know. I held him back. <laughs> <laughs> We're neighbors. Gave you a standing ovation when you arrived. We moved down here from San Francisco with the understanding that I would inherit all of his patients, but now I have none. No, Dr. Jennings. You have one. She's a delight. There's good news and there's bad news. I'm seeing my first patient this afternoon. She lives just up the road. What's the bad news? She's my only patient. Today? Metcalf changed his mind. He decided that if he retires, he will lose his zest for life and die within 48 hours or something. I don't what are we going to do? Kill him. <laughs> We're going to be fine. We'll be all right, just like you said. This town is too adorable. This family is too sweet. You have above normal systolic pressure. It's far less dangerous than a diastolic elevation, and yours is well below a level that requires treatment. Do I need these? No. There's a difference between the two types of hypertension, and in my opinion... In my opinion, Dr. Metcalf isn't aware of the difference between his ass and a hole in the ground. When he first hit town just after the war, everyone was terribly standoffish. He threw a party, invited the whole town. That's it. Next month, when the afternoons are cooler, we'll throw you a party. Nope. Do not enter. <sighs> Why do they always have to enter? If one of the members of this family dies, I'm out. What? Run. No. No. Dotson. Can we go play with Buddy? Yeah, I want you both in before dark, though. A neighbor. Seems nice. What do you bet they're going to go chase fireflies or something? Want to blow up a bullfrog? Okay. <laughs> the camera picks up the web with half the detail my eyes did. The web? How can I make this more clear? I have a terrible a... fear of spiders. Arachnophobia, if you will. Which is exactly why I think you should force yourself to come with me and look at the web. Therapy, Ross. It's time to work through this irrational, paralyzing terror. It's not irrational. I know. The incident. Ross, nobody remembers anything from when they were two. It's my first memory. I can envision the crib all around me, clear as day. Oh my gosh. I'm probably just a daddy long leg. Well, it seemed huge. And all that's... of my limbs involuntarily froze. I can still feel oh. hairy little legs. Is she really taking him in there? <gasps> Arachnophobe. Whatever. You see it up there? Right beyond the ladder. Let's not. We don't face our fears in horror movies. Please, no. Not the good doctor. Oh, I can feel his fear. <sighs> My heart. There, you see, you still have full use of all your limbs. God, have you seen it up here? Molly, I think you spared the eight-legged Frank Lloyd right. No, don't, 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 don't go any higher. <laughs> what the hell is that? Uh, it's... Oh, sweet mercy. Okay. Oh gosh, I feel a little. When I'm finally ready to throw in the towel, Jennings is your man. By all accounts, a fine physician. Oh, this brings back memories. When I moved to Kanaima, the whole town threw me a party. No, you threw yourself a party. Now that was a party. Now that is a jerk. We have to blow up the barn up the town. So Bobby here, he's uh, he's the Broncos star quarterback. Hi. I coach the team. Nepotism, huh? Actually, we're Baptists. <laughs> <laughs> Why shouldn't I have another? Because you've had too much already. Let's no. Go. That's the uh, Manleys. No. Their, their son no. recently passed away. Mr. Manley. Nobody would tell me how Let's or go. even let me see him to Come say on. goodbye. Go. Oh. Great party, Margaret. Not Margaret. Not my sweet Margaret. Pick the cat, not her. Eat it so much. Party's over. Oh. No, don't leave her alone with him. You'd have had too much punch and been the life of the party. Why do they gotta make these people so, so loving and lovable and... Oh no! Oh, Margaret! Oh, 
Huh? Maybe because it's a little one, it didn't kill her. The nails came straight. Oh, I'm surprised we haven't fallen through the floor. I've been trying to reach Margaret to thank her for yesterday, and her line's been busy all morning. You want me to? Yeah, Would okay, you? I'll go over. How dare they? Margaret? Margaret? Heart attack. Bound to happen rather sooner than later. She had a history of high blood pressure. Even with the pills I put her I on. I took her off those. What right did you have to do that? I examined And you her. didn't notice that she was hypertensive? Stolic elevation was below 160. Now, if you've stayed current, This is you a very serious matter, young man. You may well have killed this lovely woman. I don't think so. I want an autopsy. Never. She was my patient. All and right? mine for 40 years. Give it to me, Irvin. I'm satisfied if you're satisfied. <gasps> I'm Clear. sorry I'm more interested in medicine than public relations. You know, Carl, Cardiac victims don't usually bite their tongues off, doctor. Till I know why, this case isn't closed. You're damn right it's not closed. I believe you may be guilty of medical malpractice, and I intend to pursue the matter to its conclusion. Margaret was his only friend. Why don't you come by the gym tomorrow at 3? I'll throw some business your way. Thank you, Henry. Thanks, I appreciate that. We need that autopsy. He'll figure it out. Gosh. Is this gonna end in any way for me to be happy? I don't think that's the point of this movie. Russ, you're a fine doctor. I'm sure you knew exactly what you were doing when you took her off those pills. Like I knew what I was doing when I chose this town or this fine house, which is rotting from the ground up. Yeah, I'm gonna take care of that in the morning. Margaret's still gonna be dead in the morning. I can't believe they killed him. Hey. I forgot. Here, my son. <laughs> well, I'm glad you called me. No room for amateurs in this game. <laughs> Amazing. How bad is it? Shh. I didn't find a thing. Go figure. Well, then why is all the wood rotting? Bad wood. Well, so what do we do? Tear out bad wood. Put in good wood. I got no police sirens wailing all night. <laughs> it's crickets. Actually, I haven't heard any crickets lately now that you mention it. Actually, I haven't either. Okay, Bronco, there's some docks here. Get ready to drop them. Is this just a thing in movies? <coughs> Someone paying him for this? Oh, fricker, fricker. Okay. Get in here. Run the same thing again. Oh, no. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Come on, run. Let's go, boy. Right. So young. Hut, hut. <laughs> Miller. Come on, give us some air. Easy, easy, easy. See the spider. Back. <sighs> From what I hear, it wasn't a very hard tackle. Dr. Jennings examined him last. Really, really don't like that doctor. Both Margaret and that poor boy did seem to be quite healthy. If I autopsied everyone who ever died of a heart attack, I'd be run out of Canaima so fast. You're not jealous of our new young doctor, are you? What? Now you made me lose my time. The floor is cold, Sam. You're right. I don't hate him that much. Damn! What's wrong? The damn thing bit me. My God, it's just a spider. I'm like a damn cougar. I'm having a seizure. What should I do? I'll be right there. Was he alive when you got here? He'd been dead maybe five minutes. What's your guess? Massive coronary or uh, cerebral hemorrhage? His wife says he was bitten by a spider just before he seized. All right. You're the hot shot who won't accept anyone else's diagnosis. <sighs> I believe that's a spider bite. But I rather doubt that's what killed him. Nope. My guess is that Sam overexerted himself. His wife said he was using the treadmill. I want a full autopsy. No, wait just one sec. Shut up, Lloyd. You know, you better take care of yourself, man. You're the town doctor. Step right this way. Sam Metcalf died as the result of a minute amount of an as yet unidentified toxic substance in his bloodstream. My office isn't ruling out accidental poisoning or even killer spiders. I'll support whatever you'd like to do. I gotta have those bodies exhumed, Milt. Okay. We need John Goodman back, and we need the Ghostbusters, and we need WHO and the military and scientists. Wait, 
there may be some spiders around here that are very dangerous. Now, if you should see one, don't try to capture it. Don't try to kill it. Just run. We'll do that, Dr. Jennings. Are you all right? No, we need to burn the barn. Say the words. All clear. Will fire even kill them? The itsy bitsy <laughs> Bunny's not my kind of girl. Shut up. We are not doing this. We're doing this. Not the children. Please, not the children. Why did it do that? Must. Not hurt his daughter. Please, please. Sat down beside her. Please. If you girls don't settle down, then Shelly can't stay over anymore. Well, why don't you two go sleep in my room for a while? Run, 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 run! We don't need this. <sighs> okay. Oh, my hands are so sweaty. I have got a problem. It may be spider related, and you seem to be the foremost authority on the West Coast. Every so often, in a little town somewhere, there is an unexplained outbreak. Did you know, Doctor, that on every suburban acre, there are at least 50 to 60,000 spiders? Listen, Atherton, this is your fault. Perhaps man might find the planet uninhabitable without spiders. It's just, we have had three deaths in my town, and I'm just, I'm afraid there's going to be some more. We're really not all that far from It's a town called Kanaima. It's familiar. Let me see what I can do. No one's in enough of a rush. It seems. I'm Chris. Atherton's really busy lately. He's uh, recently discovered a new species of spider. Well, I hope you're going to be able to help us. We're going to be examining some bodies. Like this. That's a spider, isn't it? Uh, I'm not sure. It would take more than one bite to kill, so you gotta figure that this guy's death and the spider bite, if it is a spider bite, are coincidental. You still think it's a coincidence? There's a mark right here, behind the left ear. Atherton. Dr. Atherton, Chris Collins. I think we got a big problem here. You would feel safe nowhere. It's easy, it. Mother ever. Oh, nope. Nope. Please, no. We study it. Cruel. So cruel. If we find the spider that did this, you can arrest him. Are you okay? Get. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Give me John Goodman. Leftovers. Mostly cricket parts, wings, legs. We haven't heard any crickets in Kanaima these past few weeks. Ah! 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 Sheriff, don't move! It's dead. What could have killed it? Oh no. This is, this is my... Spiders in the shower. <gasps> spiders in the shower. This is where it happens for me. Every time. <sighs> oh no. Why couldn't it have been number one? No! You guys. My traumatic spider experience. <gasps> Mother. <gasps> okay. Okay. Should we be wearing hazmat? This trip at Atherton to find the spider species. Where'd he go? Venezuela, why? <laughs> okay. They're okay. We're okay. We're okay. Is that one of them? I'd say it's a fine suspect. It jumps, guys. Ross, you're gonna have to take a step towards it. Nope. He's paralyzed. You need an asbestos glove. Doomsday <laughs> weapon Dolbert's war on a creepy crawler. There's a rumor going around that some kind of spider might have killed Sam Metcalf, maybe Margaret, maybe even my Bronco. Doubtful, Henry. <laughs> There's no spider here. 
I will hunt down the alleged arachnid and spread some to kingdom come. Come on, mister. Yeah, that's right. Doubtful Henry, he says. I think I know why you've heard of Kanaima. This was Jerry Manley's hometown. Manley the photographer? Yeah. yeah. I think one of your Venezuelan spiders hitched a ride here in Manley's coffin. Don't look happy, you psycho. Three poison sex. Now, let's test the venom. The amount injected or what determined the effect of the bite. Oh, let's not. Look, I'm no expert, but I'd guess this toxin is fatal at a fraction of that dose. I'd agree. Somehow that South American male has mated with a domestic house spider and created a very deadly strain. The species I discovered in South America live at the top of the food chain, but in their original habitat, they are contained by geography. So the original male's the granddaddy of them all, and he's acting like a general sending his troops out to battle. Excuse me. This is our town exterminator. Always nice to meet a colleague. Now, he believes he came across one of the offending spiders. Actually, it's probably still in a bottle on my shoe. The original male also produced a queen, and together they will construct a primary nest. She will create reproductive offspring of her own. And when that happens, this town is dead. Irv owns the mortuary where the infestation must have originated. If we can just get in there and destroy the original male. Oh, Irv. It's so hot, Irv. You gotta wait. Not the popcorn, you guys. They're also very sweet. They love their snacks. <laughs> Delbert! Delbert, his name is... <laughs> Where is this? It's your Daniel's place. Take me there. She took pictures. Herb, we have, we have an emergency. Popcorn killed Irv. Atherton, be a little afraid. Please go back to the mortuary and round up my assistant and that exterminator. What are you gonna do? And uh, the old guy, the doctor? Uh, Metcalf. Metcalf? Football kid. Right here, uh... Is that all of them? Yeah, that's it. Now this here in the center, that's a mortuary, right? That's a house. Well, who the hell lives here? Me. I do. Holy crap! Kids! Oh my gosh, we need cell phones in the, in the 90s. Oh my gosh, we could have saved lives. Okay, at this point, Atherton, you you are choosing death. Incredible. Uh, uh. The ready. Come and get it. <gasps> what were you thinking? Hey. Gotcha. Gotcha. Dilbert, should you be wearing a mask? They're killing people. I need you to be more afraid. <gasps> Michael. Oh my gosh. We're gonna need another way out of here. We gotta get the freak out. Come on. Let's go. No. Time. No. Time. Ross, come on, Ross. <laughs> Break the window. Rock and roll. Thank you, Dilbert. I've never loved you more. Mother of Pearl. Please, 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 please. Where is? I found the nest. Yes. Um, where's Delbert? There's gotta be another way out. Maybe it's a movie, it's a movie, it's a movie, it's a movie, it's a movie. It's a movie. I'm splitting obviously. Ooh. 
Don't go near it, Ross! Therapy. That's your basic egg sack. Dear freaking heavens. Why is his family not freaking out that he's not there? Oh, I feel sick. Okay. Movie, 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 movie. I don't... I don't... Where's your lighter, Ross? Stop trying to fight it! Just run! But he's a good guy. He wants to save the town. Oh, he likes it now. Oh my gosh. They're deadly, Ross! Every time! Every time! Please don't kill him! Please don't kill him! Can you please just get out of this house? He's paralyzed like a baby in a crib. He's paralyzed. He's paralyzed and he's died for it. Okay. Movie, 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 movie. Ah! Oh my gosh. Okay. 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 Shot, Ross. Don't mention it. Oh Ross, Ross. The kids, for the kids. The kids are fine. Everybody's okay. We go back to San Francisco. You know what I'm going to miss most about the country? Okay. What? I don't know. That's why I'm asking you. At least we got out with our lives. Uh, to events that we can control. To. Felt. Probably wouldn't even show up on that scale. We should check the kids. The Let's kids. <laughs> oh, you guys thought Carly could do that one? You were wrong. I sweat from every pore. Holy cow! I think I might have done better with the fly. Spiders have me moved up on my list. Literally, watching that movie will affect me for the rest of my life. I'm pretty sure. Because how would you know if randomly a uh, undiscovered spider got brought here accidentally from a ship? We're very international now. Globalization is real. That spider that everyone's like, oh, it's just a house spider, could kill you. Oh my gosh. I know that for some people, that movie was cornier. Or people said it, it's silly. That was not for me. That felt very real and intense and horrifying. Like, I'm not kidding. My heart rate was high. The only saving grace was they did not kill anyone in that family because I would not have been okay. It almost felt like the poltergeist a little bit, like this idyllic family in this idyllic town and horrible things. But they all were okay, except for a lot of mental severe trauma but they made it out with their lives jeff daniels was amazing like it it's weird because it had like a sweetness to it and like a like almost like comedy here and there especially john goodman that's who i want on my team but that almost made it worse because oh, you just love them but it felt like real because like this little small sweet town and these people like that could be your neighbors that you know that's what made it feel real i think they set it up actually so good with the whole venezuelan thing and oh i don't know guys that one got me okay i'm gonna go have no, not a shower. Do you want to know my shower trauma experience? I had just gotten out of the shower. I was drying my hair with a towel like this. And I looked up in my mirror. And in my reflection, I just saw a spider go like this. Oh, to this day. Just. I have never screamed or jumped like... And we didn't 
find it. We didn't find and kill that spider. I didn't sleep in my room for a week. I had my dad come like, ugh. that moment will haunt me forever. Oh my gosh. Well, thank you for watching along. I'm sorry if you did. <laughs> we all need to erase that movie from our memory. I'll see you next time. Godspeed. <laughs>